Alright, I know I've been AFK from the internet for quite some time, but long story short, school has literally prevented me from making videos for YouTube and honestly I've had no time to myself to actually do anything that I really want to do. At the moment, I'm in my last weeks for the coursework deadlines and this is serious grind time to get on my work complete. Anyway, in more relation to this video, I wanted to talk about a game that is popping off known as Installation 01. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for quite some time, you know that I post content about this game quite regularly. And honestly, these guys keep coming up with awesome updates to just show this game in such a better light. And honestly, this game is improving like day by day and it's getting better and better by the second. Another reason why I haven't made videos in quite a bit of time is because I literally lost my voice during one of the recordings. So I couldn't actually do any commentaries whatsoever. So that just completely prevented me from making videos. But now I'm back and uh, yeah, back to installation 01. So, so as I said, this is currently a Halo inspired PC game coming to us in early 2018. It's honestly insane to see how many people work on this project. And these people are all Halo fans and people that have passion for the Halo community. Seeing stuff like this is absolutely amazing. Amazing and I really cannot wait for the end product and basically they uploaded a Q&A explaining some of the features that might be implemented within the game itself. So just a few things I noted from the Q&A. A lot of people were asking if the game was going to be free to play and they instantly responded saying yes, the game will be free to play coming to Windows and Mac. Not only that, but they also talked about the use of in-depth customization and new armor pieces will be implemented into the game as it progresses. As usual, massive debate was whether it was going to be the classic movement system or the new one. But due to the game being based around Halo 3 is obviously going to be the classic movement system. However, sprint and other armor abilities will be allowed in custom games. Just like in H3, projectile weapon systems will be implemented as well. Skill and linear based ranking system. Credit unlocks just like in Halo Reach, how you had to get a certain level of credits to unlock certain armor pieces within the game. I was brought up the fact about Steam, this game will not actually be on Steam, you have to download it for the website and on their website you can look for updates and other information such as that. In terms of the game needing maintenance fixes or any updates like that, that will happen at launch so basically when you go to launch the game, the game will then automatically do an update so you can then play it. And the last question was in relation to the team not making any future projects after Halo Installation 01. However, I believe if this game is very successful then this team can definitely make more games in the future. When it comes to my overall opinion of Halo Installation Installation 01, I have really high hopes for this game and I think it can be really massive for the Halo community. Seeing that they listen to the community is so important and honestly I can feel like this game is going to be absolutely incredible. Just ranging from the customization, weapons, maps and other features, honestly this game looks so incredible and I cannot wait to actually play it for myself in early 2018. In all honesty I pray for this game so much and hope it has some form of contribution to the growth of the Halo community. I just want to thank the Installation 01 team for bringing such an awesome project for free man mind you and honestly keep up the good work guys no matter how long it actually takes to make anyway guys from now on you're probably seeing most content from me on the weekends as my videos do take a bit of time to make so i need more time during the week to edit them anyway guys it's been reflex and i'll see you soon